Hi friends, welcome or welcome back on Giugissima. In case you didn't know me, I'm Giulia, I'm Italian and I make videos about studying, learning and personal development. Many of you Italian followers asked me whether I could make some videos in English in addition to the regular videos I make in Italian. And so here I am. And actually, I'm super, super, super excited about it. In today's video, I'm going to bring you guys along in a regular day in my life, working as a full-time lawyer in Copenhagen, but also studying on the side for a bunch of different projects, including some law courses that I'm following in relation to my job and the Danish language, which I have already studied, but now I have committed to reaching proficiency by the end of this year. And so there is really a lot of studying to do. You will see me wake up early. Uh, I'm aiming at 5 a.m. Um, and hopefully having a very productive day, but also having a good and balanced time in my life because I don't want to stress out. So I am committing to working very hard, but also to make sure that I have time for myself to reset, relax and recover from all this work and studying that I'm doing. I woke up at 5 a.m. and after a couple of minutes of literally staring into nothing, I started my day with around 20 minutes of reading. The current fiction book that I am reading is A Tata Step by the Italian author Dino Buzzati. Over the past year or more, I have built the good habit of reading a bit as a first thing in the morning and I have realized that it really puts me in a very good mood for the rest of the day. After reading, I got dressed in the clothes that I had already prepared the evening before and sat at my desk, where I had already put all the things that I needed so that I could start studying immediately. I finished outlining a section of one of my assignments for a project I'm working on, which is half studying, half related to my job. It didn't really take long, as I already had an idea of the topics I want to talk about. Next, I continued doing some readings that I had assigned for that day. Here I am taking notes on the iPad of the points that I consider most relevant, so that I can further elaborate on them when I have to write the next sections of my project. It was time to make myself a cup of coffee and enjoy it in the morning light that started illuminating the bedroom. Then I moved to the living room where I got the last things ready for the live study with me that I was about to start. Precisely at 6.30 I started streaming a live study with me. It is available in the live study with me playlist linked in the description box in case you want to use it for studying. I focus for two hours without taking any breaks as I usually do to reach a state of flow. In particular, here I was writing the section of my project that I had just outlined. At 8.30, once the live study with me was over, I did a morning workout and some yoga for about half an hour. I like to move my body before I sit down at the desk for a long day of work. Like 
As you can see, after rushing through my morning workout, I quickly washed myself and got ready for work and now I'm gonna start working. I have some presentations to prepare, some emails to reply to, and then I will have some meetings from 11 o'clock-ish. I have been working for most of the morning on a big contract that I had to finish drafting and review before sending it to my boss. In case you're wondering, the reason why I use two computers is that it allows me to have two screens and work more efficiently. At the office I have two screens and I think it is very useful. And I use an external keyboard for my MacBook not only because I prefer the feel of the Apple Magic Keyboard compared to the MacBook keyboard, but also because my Mac has an English keyboard which is not very practical for writing in Italian, where I need a lot of accents, and in Danish, where the alphabet has some letters that do not exist in English. It's now 12.30 and the, the weather has been literally crazy outside. You can see it's very sunny now, but uh, like 10 minutes ago it was snowing. So it is quite crazy right now. And if, if we consider that um, we are the week after Easter, so we are in the beginning of April, it is quite strange that it is snowing. Um, in any case, I'm gonna get some lunch now. So I'm gonna have a little break and then I'm gonna start working again. So I'm done eating, uh, I made myself a cup of tea, it is actually the same tea bag that I was using this morning, but um, it is a green chai tea and you can make quite a lot of tea with just one tea bag, so I've decided to reuse it. Um, and I still have about half an hour left in my lunch break, so I will use this time to do some readings for an online course that I have to attend. So it is not 100% work, it is a bit of studying, and it is something that allows me to switch a bit off my brain from work and have a break, and then I will start working again. But in any case, it is very good for me to use my lunch break sometimes, or a little bit of my lunch break break a portion of it uh, to get some other productive work done which is not my actual work in a law firm so that I can still take a break but be productive. I completed the readings on my iPad in preparation for my course. I took some notes and as I went through the materials I ensured to retrieve the important information by doing active recall and by testing myself. After some work calls with my boss and some of my colleagues, I decided to move to my bedroom where there is a bit more light in the afternoon compared to the living room. I used this IKEA piece of furniture to build a standing workstation. I enjoy working while I stand and it is good for my back, or at least this is what they say here in Denmark. And I worked while standing for the rest of the afternoon. At five o'clock I was done with all my tasks for the day and I went for a half an hour power walk in the center of Copenhagen just to clear my head and to get some fresh air. Straight cruising, headed for bruising, watching out for number one. You gotta slow down. 
look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. From 5.45 until 7.45, I had my weekly Danish speaking session, during which I had to present the chapter of a book that I had read. Where you going? Brightness looks big. Where you going? Truth cannot be hidden. You gotta in the second half of the class, I reviewed some grammar rules and I have followed the space repetition schedule that I had established before to learn some new words and especially to remember them. Then my boyfriend and I cooked together a delicious dinner in no time and chilled together for most of the evening. Then I spent some time finishing editing a YouTube video. I know this can sound like work and to a certain extent it is. However, I really enjoy editing YouTube videos and I find it quite relaxing, so it is not really a burden for me. Once I was done with my YouTube work, I turned off all my screens and relaxed with a good non-fiction book. I'm currently reading Deep Work by Cal Newport. In the last period, I've normally read fiction in the morning and non-fiction in the evening. And around 10 o'clock, I turned off the lights and fell asleep. I really hope you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps supporting my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments whether I should make more videos in English, whether I should make some live study with me in English and in general whether you have any more suggestions for the next videos. I really appreciate your advice as it helps me improve the content that I bring on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and remember to check out my Instagram account where I always post in English. I wish you an amazing Sunday and a great start to the next week and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!